Hey beautiful, welcome back to my channel. As you already know by the title of this video, I am letting you guys be in control of my makeup look today. Now the easiest way for me to do that was to head straight to Instagram and I posted a poll so I pinned two products against each other and I let you guys decide what product was going to win for the tutorial slash video. And I pretty much picked some products that I like and some products that I don't like slash hate. <laughs> um, so I have no control over what I'm using today and that makes me a little bit nervous but you know what I'm gonna try my best to make this look work and if it doesn't look good I can always blame you guys because you were in charge <laughs> if you're brand new here and you're not subscribed smash that subscribe button and give this a thumbs up if you like this type of video now without any further ado let's go ahead and get started okay so first things first primer is the first thing we got to go through so I gave you guys a choice two primer combinations because I I have combination skin, I need a mattifying primer, and a primer for just the rest of my face. So I gave you the choice of either the Tatcha uh, Silk Canvas and the e.l.f oil control primer mist or you could have me use the Laura Mercier foundation primer and the Rimmel Stay Matte together and guess what you guys guess what one this one <laughs> the Tasha and the Elf so you guys want to see me actually use these together um, which I am totally down for I really love the silk canvas primer so for me I was like okay you know what that sounds uh, pretty damn good to me <laughs> this primer is freaking amazing for like intensifying the pigment and just making your makeup look flawless all right so now it's time to go in with my elf uh oil control mist it feels so refreshing and i'm just gonna let that dry down and then we can get to foundation all right so for foundation i pinned the fenty foundation against the maybelline fit me and i have to say you know what i didn't even know which one you guys were gonna pick because i know that these are both favorites so I kind of want to make you guys squirm a little bit, you know what I mean? But guess what? The Fenty Foundation one, 71% of you guys picked that one, which is crazy. I didn't know you guys love Fenty so much. In this one, I am the shade 420. So I'm just going to pump that on the back of my hand. And I'm also going to use my new Morphe sponge. And I'm gonna go ahead and just dab that in. All right, so when it came down to concealer, I picked two really great ones. I pinned the Tarte Shape Tape against the Maybelline Instant Instant Age Rewind and honestly I really expected this drugstore one to win but guess what the Tarte won by a landslide 71% of you guys picked the Tarte concealer so that's the one I'm gonna use I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to the usual areas under my eyes down the bridge of my nose my forehead and my chin so when it came to setting up uh, my concealed areas I was like okay which one do you guys want the Milani setting powder Powder or the Laura Mercier setting powder and you guys actually picked Laura Mercier isn't that crazy um, and you know what I'm actually gonna do something a little bit different I'm gonna bake underneath my eyes because I actually I'm gonna do my eye makeup after doing my face so I want to make sure that I don't you know get any fallout and stuff and I can catch that now when it came to what I look I was gonna do uh, I pinned two palettes here as you can see uh, the retro love palette from shop hush which is like a dupe for the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette and then the Morphe 39a palette and guess what guys the Morphe 39a palette she won you guys love her and i haven't used this in a while because obviously this palette is no longer sold on the morphe website but i still love it and um first of all when i you know picked kind of two different color stories to pick i picked uh this little area right here that was one option and then these eight colors here and you guys picked this color story right here which is really awesome i wasn't expecting that i totally thought you guys were going to pick the blue one but you know what let's go ahead get into this eye look i did want to make sure that you guys had control of what eye look i was going to do and you know what i pinned a cut crease against a halo eye and the halo I won. <laughs> Full of surprises. 
I personally love cut creases, but you know what? I'm down to flex my skills anytime with a halo eye. So first things first, we're gonna start blending. I am going to pick, ooh, I'm gonna pick this color right here for my transition because that makes the most sense, you know what I mean? The other colors are just like extremely bold. And who she is bright. I forgot that this palette was pigmented. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this deeper, like burgundy-ish color. And I'm gonna use that as my main lid color on my inner and my outer lid. Honestly, the eyes always take the longest for me because I take so much time to blend. You know, you gotta get it like just right. For the center of the lid, we are getting daring. We've got this bright, fiery red. And you know what? If that one is not vibrant enough, I'm gonna go on top of it with another color. Okay, the brush is not working. Let's try the finger. Ah, yes, a lot more pigmented. Actually, I really love that. It's like super fiery. So I'm just gonna go ahead on my lower lash line and add the same colors, that darker burgundy on the inner and outer and the fiery red on the middle part of my lower lashes. Now, when it came to using a lashes or no lashes, you guys, an astounding 84% of you guys said you wanted me to use lashes and you made the right decision decision. <laughs> okay, so then I was like, okay, well, which lashes do you want me to use, you know? Um, so I said, do you want me to use these House of Lashes lashes or do you want me to use these Baddington lashes? And you guys pick the House of Lashes in the style Natalia, which is very gorgeous and flirty. And they're kind of nearing the end of their lives, but it's okay. I'm going to make them last for one more use. Now we're ready for bronzer. And I decided to pin the ABH in the shade mahogany against the Guerlain terracotta in the shade nine and you know what 76% of you guys picked the ABH bronzer. I had no idea you guys loved this one so much, uh, but it is a beautiful one. I've come around to it. Um, I think that it's best when applied alone. For me, it just doesn't work well with my cream concealer, but I'm really loving this one so far. So I'm just going to apply it like so and push it into my hairline. So another interesting little pearl product showdown I wanted to go through is uh, I wanted to compare the Lancome Translucence and see which one you guys picked against the ColourPop Medium Deep No Filter Powder and by a landslide you guys picked the No Filter Powder probably because it's new <laughs> but it is a really good powder so I'm going to use this to just kind of warm up all the areas of my face because uh, I want to still look a little bit glowy you know what I mean? Now, you know what? We are at my favorite part. Ooh, I just love the next couple steps in the makeup process. So first is a liquid highlighter, and I pinned the e.l.f. Cosmetics uh, Gold Power Glow Highlighter against the Milk Makeup. This is the shade Mars. It's more of a holographic-y kind of highlight. And you know what? The Milk makeup one like it's crazy 56 percent of you guys picked this one and you know what it is quite a lovely highlight just going to push this up a little bit it kind of reminds me of a push pop you know if you guys were like a 90s kid or you just grew up in the 90s push pops were the bomb just going to add this right here as you can see it's definitely got like a pink glow to it and I'm just going to use my finger to go ahead and dab it. But I really do like it, like it's different. And in person, it looks so nice. To be honest with you guys, I don't even know which one is better out of highlighters for powder highlighters, okay? We got Becca Topaz, which is like OG, OG favorite, never lets me down. Or we've got Artist Couture and Jackie Ina, La Browns, baby. They're both so good. If you guys didn't pick one for me, I don't even think I could, but you know what? 55% of you guys chose Artist Couture, okay? Jackie Ina, Miss LeBron's in the building. And uh, okay, okay, I see I see where your loyalty lies here. We gotta support Jackie. <laughs> I always say with the Artist Couture highlighters that a little bit goes a long way. So literally just dab your highlight brush in and just gently apply. 
am. And wouldn't you know, we are out here with the galactic glow out here. That pink, that rose gold. Maybe you guys know what you're doing. Look at you guys forcing me to step out of my comfort zone. For blush honey to tie this look together, I said, look, are you gonna go with the Morphe 9B? You know, affordable, but uh, sometimes a little bit sketchy on the quality. And, or are you gonna go with ABH in the building gradient? And you know what? You guys picked ABH gradient up in this. Um, I'm not surprised, I'm not surprised. Honestly, I was kind of hoping you guys would pick this one. Okay, so which one should I go with? I think I'm gonna go with this one right here. So beautiful. And they always surprise me too, because I'm always looking at their blushes being like, oh, it's not that cute. But it is. And honey, we ain't done yet. For setting spray, I said, are you gonna go with Urban Decay Chill or are you gonna go with Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist? And you know what? The Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist lost, only got 36% because the Urban Decay won by a landslide. So you know I'm gonna spritz this all over my face and then I'm gonna wait for it to dry. Now, when it comes down to lip products, do you guys think the Fenty Stena Lip Paint in Uncensored One or the Urban Decay Lip Gloss in the shade Dirty Talk? Well, Fenty, she won by like a landslide. Y'all, I mean, I don't even know. I guess this bold red lip works with this eye look, but you know what? We'll just see. All right, guys, this is the final look. She's sultry, she's sexy, she's sassy, and it's all thanks to you guys. So thank you guys that voted, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, because I really did. This was so much fun. If you guys would like to chill with me some more, check out the videos that are right next to me. I think you'll really enjoy them, and if if you haven't subscribed and you're still here, girl, smash that subscribe button. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.